7.52 the time now. Thanks to Dad's Army, the Home Guard has become synonymous with the bumbling exploits of Captain Mannering, Pike and the other residents in Wilmington-on-Sea. But for some, at least, the depiction by the TV show and now the film isn't accurate. They feel it has masked the reality of the work done by volunteers in World War II, as Breakfast Tim Muffet has been finding out. Don't tell him, Pike! Pike! <laughs> The Home Guard. Don't panic! Don't panic! A dad's army of bumbling, incompetent, elderly men. Who do you think? Who do you think you are kidding? Not 91-year-old Clifford Lord, one of the few surviving veterans of the real Home Guard. It misrepresents the Home Guard enormously and is a total injustice. This is the chief point about Dad's Army. There was no amusement whatsoever. It was sheer hard work, utter fatigue. But there was a major compulsion on people to do whatever they could to stem the march of Hitler. More than one and a half million men volunteered for the Home Guard, the last line of defence in the event of a Nazi invasion. Age, health or job precluded most from full military service. Some professions were considered too important to the war effort. Clifford was an engineer. Age 17, he joined the Home Guard and volunteered to defuse unexploded bombs. Did you get frustrated when Dad's army was giving this idea that it was just bumbling oh, was, old men? I was absolutely appalled to begin with. We had cities being laid flat. Who do you think you're kidding, Mr Hitler? What a ridiculous thing to think. If you think we're on the run, what about Dunkirk? Of course we're on the run. Clifford worked in these ordnance factories in Worcester. And this is where you used to gather as the Home Guard. This is the first time he's returned. I feel a bit sad. I'm thinking of former comrades, friends, fellow engineers. Thanks mainly to the TV show Dad's Army, there is this view that the Home Guard consisted almost entirely of elderly men. However, research by the National Archives suggests otherwise. Its analysis of military records shows that in 1940, 50% of Home Guard volunteers were aged under 27. More than a quarter were aged under 18. No old codgers at all can I remember a single one. We were all young and very active. Osterley Park in West London, where the Home Guard were trained. Depending being the last line of defence, as it were. This is it, men. Our chance to play a real part in this war. Toby Jones is following in the footsteps of Arthur Lowe and is playing Captain Mannering in the Dad's Army film. I totally understand anyone who feels that that that's... That part of history is simplified or in some way trivialised. MI5 picked up another signal from the spine. It has a scale to it that does honour the idea of Home Guard, perhaps more than some of the sort of, you know, goonery that um, the series indulges in. Despite that reassurance, Clifford won't be going to see it. Enjoy your humorous programmes, but please don't think it's anything to do with the Home Guard that I knew and honoured. Mm,